Dude, I have seen this easy does it guy like three times today. What is going on? Yeah, I bet I can get a first blood throwing knife on this guy. Watch. He's gonna come around the corner and try and rush A immediately. I'm confident he will do this. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, wait, I was kind of joking. I didn't think that would actually work. Well, it took me a little longer than I expected, but today I finally sat down and unlocked the new XRK Stalker sniper rifle. Yeah, to be honest, this really wasn't that bad. I basically just spent six hours straight face tanking lobbies and meet 24-7. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen that the skill-based matchmaking got to me more than a couple times over the last few days. But yeah, I pretty much just sat there, grinded my battle pass up to level 15 to get this thing unlocked. Oh, uh, while I was doing this, I also unlocked the uh, Gilded or Gold MCW or whatever. Not sure if anybody really gives a shit about that at this point. Obviously, I only got this thing level three so far. I don't have anything on it at this point. But that being said, I did take it into a private lobby and put all like the best attachments on it and stuff. And I know I was only shooting at bots, but I'm pretty sure this is the clear cut best sniper in the game. Anyway, plan for today is just to run around with this a little bit. I'm actually going to hop into 12v12 down here. I did see that they added a few new maps to this playlist, so I kind of want to see how that goes. As I mentioned in the last video though, this playlist has been a little bit hit or miss as far as how fun the lobbies actually are. So if it ends up being too boring, we can just go back into meat. As always, make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'm willing to bet my skill base is all jacked up from running around with meta stuff for the last few days. So don't don't blame me if I go double negative. Anyway, here's the uh, XRK Stalker. Obviously, most of you have probably already seen this thing from creators that were willing to spend $50 on their battle pass, but as most of you guys probably know, we don't do that here. I mean, I say that as if I didn't just get done spending $20 on an anime skin bundle, but that is something we do actually do here. Dude, fire the weapon! What the hell, bro? I, dude, that was a free kill if he just pulls the damn trigger. The bolt was back! The hell? the fuck is, what is going on why are you back there i i'm so confused but i didn't think there would be another guy dude the stuns man leave me alone oh Help me! I didn't think two people would just come around the corner like that, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know how I feel about this playlist still. I mean, this is just a 90% of it's a sniper lobby, but it's not even the fun kind of sniper lobby where people are running around trying to quick scope and go for clips and shit. It's the kind of sniper lobby where everybody just sits back and hard scopes. I can't really say I'm a fan of this, to be honest. I don't know who the fuck I just shot. Yeah, I will say though, this thing actually feels remarkably good for having no attachments on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's definitely slow, but it's not like unusably slow, you know what I mean? Like a lot of snipers, they'll just slow them down to the point where it's basically not competitive at all until you get some attachments on it, but this thing's honestly not that bad. Obviously, Terminal's a very sniper-friendly map, so I'm getting a little bit of help in that regard, but... All right, what can you do, man? Yeah, I'll give it another match, but I don't really know about this playlist, to be honest. Like I just said, sniper lobbies are fun, but not when it's a bunch of snipers just sitting on lines of sight and head glitches waiting for people to come around the corner. Like, I don't know, I'd rather the game have a bit more movement, you know what I mean? Anyway, have I unlocked anything useful at all here? Not really. I don't get, like, any ADS attachments for a long time, huh? All right. What the fuck just happened? Yo, where's my sub base match? Why am I playing team deathmatch on invasion all of a sudden? Oh, now it's back, okay. This game makes zero sense, dude. I don't understand it. Anyway, like I was kind of saying though, I did end up running around with this thing all decked out in a private match just to see how it performed. And I'm pretty confident it is now the best sniper in the game. And it's not like the thing is particularly strong or anything like that. It's just, I mean, it's head and shoulders better than the other options we have. Dude, shoot the gun, man. Like, I pull the trigger, it needs to go. I don't understand this. That's like the third time it's happened. Is it the sprint to fire? What's the issue here? But yeah, honestly, I really did think I could get the longbow to work. Like, I don't know. It was fun when I used it in the beta, but I tried running around with it, man. I really did. It's just way too inconsistent for me. I can't stand it. What? Dude, I don't deserve that, bro. It is point blank, and this dude is bouncing around like he's on a fucking pogo stick. Look at that aim. How is he allowed to win that gunfight? Come on, bro. Guy is so bad, actually. But yeah, the longbow is just way too inconsistent, and I did try using the KV inhibitor a little bit, but I don't know what's up with that gun's handling. Like, I don't know if it's the ADS or the way the weapon sways or something, but something about how it aims just feels off to me. I, like, can't hit shots with it at all. So yeah, ironically enough, in spite of me calling it the worst sniper in the game, I have actually spent my most time in multiplayer using the CAT AMR out of all of the sniper rifles. Also, dude, it's just another boring lobby man. Like, I don't understand. There are 12 people on the map. How can it possibly play this slow? 
I'm behind the thing. What do you mean? Dude, I never get to wall bang anything with sniper rifles firing bullets the size of staplers. And you're telling me a shitty little 74U can wall bang me through a fucking AC unit? Yeah, there was no way, dude. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, long story short, this is definitely the best sniper in the game now. I mean, in addition to being consistent, it's also, like, reasonably fast for a multiplayer environment. I'd like to be able to get at least another, like, maybe 50 milliseconds out of this, but I'll take what I can get at this point. And, you know, for its ADS speed, it is very consistent. I know I did just get those couple of hit markers I was complaining about, but for the most part, from the waist up, this thing is a pretty consistent one-shot. Huh? Yeah, I'm probably done with this playlist after this match. It's not just the pacing, it's the fact that half the lobby has snipers and they're all just sitting back. Like, I don't want to have to think this hard about where I go and how long I'm standing in a certain place. Like, what are these nerds doing? You have two guys sitting in a doorway behind deployable cover. What is wrong with you? I don't know what just happened. Oh, thank God, dude. Get me out. This is the most boring game of Hardpoint I've played all week. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go play meat. As much as I'm enjoying the map variety, I'm not a huge fan of these lobbies. What the fuck is going on? Uh, dude, what is... Stop. Oh my god, ADS the gun faster, please. I'm begging you. I knew he was there the entire time. But anyway, now that I've played a uh, probably disgusting number of hours of this map, I've seen some people debating the map on Twitter, figured I'd give my two cents. Obviously, it's gonna depend on, you know, how you feel about different kinds of maps. Like, do you enjoy small maps? Or do you prefer, you know, larger scale action or whatever? But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think that Meat is probably the best original map they've come out with, at least since Black Ops Cold War. Obviously, I might be forgetting a map here or there from like Vanguard, for example, because to be honest with you, Vanguard was just a pretty forgettable Call of Duty. But I will say, this is definitely better than any of the maps that they added to Modern Warfare 2, and most of the ones I remember them adding to uh, Modern Warfare 2019. As far as DLC maps go, anyway, I know some of the base maps from, like, Modern Warfare 2019, for example, are pretty good. But realistically, I think the only DLC map that even comes close would be, like, Candor Hideout. And even then, that map was pretty hit or miss at the best of times. I remember more than one Candor Hideout lobby where everybody just stood on the street with sniper rifles trying to hardscope each other. But for the most part on that map, I remember people, you know, moving, contesting objective, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Although, by the way, that's not to say Meat is a perfect map by any means. It's definitely got some flaws. The uh, principal issue with this map being the spawns. The spawns on this map are hilariously bad. I did mention it a little bit in the last video that I played on this map, but now that I've actually spent, like, significant time in the playlist and just had to, you know, exist on this map and deal with the spawns as they are, it's honestly worse than I even thought it was in that video. The spawns on this map have, like, no rhyme or reason to them, really. They'll flip at the drop of a hat at times, but then other times they just won't move no matter matter what, so, you know, you'll have points where irrespective of objectives being held or points being, you know, contested or whatever, I, dude, there goes my care package, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, get fucked. But yeah, the spawns have essentially no rhyme or reason. You'll spawn, hey, look, case in point, right there. Like, look at this. The dude spawned in a gunfight. Like, how does that make any sense? But then there'll be other points, right, where, like, your team will be trying to contest an objective, and they'll just start spawning people on it for no reason. Like, I don't know, dude, the logic is nonsensical, and you're gonna probably end up racking up more deaths to the spawns than you will to actual people outplaying you if you spend a lot of time in this playlist. Like, it's not good. I got a hit marker. Is this a joke? So yeah, the spawns are a big problem, and then kind of also as a result of the spawns, the map tends to flow a little weird, especially in games like Domination. Like, Hardpoint's pretty good usually, but the way people end up navigating the map in, like, Domination, and even things like Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed, it can be really weird at times. Now again, part of that is a function of the game just deciding to spawn people wherever the fuck it feels like it, but regardless, it makes it kind of hard to use your brain in a lot of engagements, because you're just gonna have no idea where people are coming from. There is no way that guy is that bad. I absolutely deserve to kill him. Like, the only reason he killed me is because I'm using a underleveled sniper rifle. But uh, all of those complaints aside, like I said, this is still probably the best, or at least one of the best, original maps that I have played in the last four years. Like, sitting in this playlist 24-7 has been a boatload of fun. And obviously, I think I mentioned this in the last video, you know, a good bit of that has to do with the fact that it is a small map, it's fast-paced, there's a lot of action, a lot of engagement, a lot of kills. What?
Okay, dude. Spawn system at it again, I guess. But yeah, so far, having played it for a while, I am definitely a fan of this map. Dude, shoot the gun. The bolt is back in, bro. I'm begging you. Although that being said, outside of problems with the uh, map itself, having sat down and just grinded this map for an extended period of time has definitely shown me some uh, other problems this game has going on with it. For starters, the grenades in this game are fucking ridiculous. Like, all of them. It's uh, not just the flashbangs this time. It's literally all of the grenades that exist. The stuns are obnoxious. The frags are ridiculously overpowered. The biggest issue with frags, though, is the fact that, like, they don't care about cover. Like, you can be behind cover if you're behind like a door or something and the grenade just does not care. It will blow you up through the cover, through the door, through the wall, whatever it is. It does not give a flying fuck. Dude, why are there two people on the crate in the back of the map? I do not understand this. What are you doing? You're about to lose the hard point game. But yeah, the grenades are uh, definitely something I would like to see tuned at some point in time. Dude, like, that stun was probably in the other room. How does it hit me? I don't get it. Oh, wow, we actually won that one, huh? Honestly, I wasn't paying attention at all to what was going on in the game. All right, let's see. Have I unlocked anything that will make this thing faster yet? No, literally nothing. That's hilarious. Fuck it, we're still balling with no attachments. Anyway, yeah, getting back to the sniper a little bit, since that's what I titled the video, I guess I should probably talk about it more. I do think I'll be spending a good amount of time with it once I have it all leveled up and stuff. Oh boy, we've gotten to that point in the skill-based matchmaking algorithm, huh? Gonna just start spawning me into losing lobbies because it's that time. Thank you, Call of Duty. I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, you know what? But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being, like, my main weapon for the rest of the year. I mean, unless they end up adding, like, an actually decent version of the Barrett 50 cal or something, which, uh, given the last few years, I somehow doubt is actually going to happen. So yeah, it's entirely possible I just end up running around with this for the rest of the year and nothing else. Dude, these guys are trying so hard. Is it really that point, guys? Like, has skill-based matchmaking determined that I have had enough fun today, or what? Enough! We get it with the grenades, man! Holy fuck! I- what is even going on? There's somebody- look, another stun. This guy's gun better than mine? Oh, look how fast it is. I'm also getting hit markers for some reason. That's hilarious. Oh, well. The fun stops now, I suppose. That is what the algorithm demands of me. You're not allowed to be the master of your own fate in this game. Activision apparently decides it for you. We are but helpless cogs in an uncaring wheel of fate. That wheel of fate being the skill-based matchmaking algorithm. I, what the fuck am I talking about, dude? Yeah. What? Spawns. Where am I dying from, bro? Actually, you know, that is one thing I would like to point out. There have been an interesting number of instances over the last couple days where people seem to know where I am, but I have on Ghost and Ninja, or Covert Sneakers, whatever the fuck they're called. Like, how do people possibly know where I'm coming from? It's not like I'm shooting, so I'm appearing on the minimap either, you know? EMP, wait, what the fuck? What does this do? I didn't even know they added an EMP in this game. Whoa, that's like the old school EMP. Holy shit, that's cool. Dude, crack heads with meta SMGs, man. What can you do? Holy shit. I didn't think that would work. All right, don't end the game. I want to see what I get. Dude, I get so many Sam turrets out of care packages. Maybe I should just take it off. I don't know. It seems like a useless kill streak at this point. Also, holy shit, dude. What a sweat fest. Can't believe we actually won that one. And uh, I think that's about it for this one. To be honest, I kind of forgot what the point of this video was. I unlocked the new sniper, I guess. It's pretty good. I'll see what I can do about having it uh, forged or platinum or whatever for the next video. It's going to depend on how tough these camo challenges are. Also, real quick before I go, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out yet, but going forward, I want to try and incorporate more gameplay and less commentary into my Call of Duty videos. Just because it seems like you guys have been liking my life. Let's Play stuff a lot more as opposed to my COD stuff, so I want to see if I can maybe make these videos a little bit more in that style and see if they do any better. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys prefer this style of video as opposed to what I normally do where it's mostly just commentary and a little bit of gameplay. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, definitely make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.